I've gotten a few requests from my YouTube viewers to give my testimony about how Jesus has changed my life. And so that's what I'm going to start doing in this video. And this is actually going to be the first video in a series of videos in which I will be talking about how Jesus has changed my life. And I've decided to entitle it From Pushing Dope to Pushing Hope in Jesus. The reason being is, before I became a Christian, I was a drug dealer who ended up paying for my crimes by serving eight years in federal prison, in which I came to know Jesus as my Lord and Savior. By the way, if you want to follow this series, please make sure and subscribe to my channel so that you can get updates on my future uploads. And I will also be adding this to a playlist entitled, Drug Dealer Becomes Christian. Now to prove that this is true, and I'm not just making something up to try to sell you a story so I can get some views on YouTube, I'm going to show you two things. My federal prison ID and parts of my plea agreement. As you can see from my federal prison ID, my legal name is Jagor Sereda, and my inmate registration number is 97265-011. This can be cross-checked on BOP.gov, which is a database of federal prison inmates It confirms my name, age, race, sex, and release date, which is October 4, 2010. At that time, I was transferred to an immigration detention facility in which I awaited deportation to Poland, which took about two weeks. The reason I was deported to Poland is because I was not an American citizen when I got arrested, only a green card holder. Therefore, since I received two felony convictions, my green card was revoked and I was deported to Poland, Europe after serving eight years in federal prison. Mind you, I lived in the United States ever since I was three years old, and Poland was practically a foreign country to me. But that didn't make any difference to the feds. About my plea agreement. Here is the first page of my plea agreement. As you can see, in section one near the bottom, It states that I was charged with one count of using a telephone to facilitate a drug transaction and one count of carrying a firearm in connection with a drug trafficking violation. On page two of my plea agreement, you can see that my penalties are outlined as four years for the telephone charge and five years for the gun charge. These were ran consecutively, which means that I got a nine-year prison sentence. I got out after eight years though, on good time. In the federal prison system, you have to serve at least 85% of your time before getting released, and that's on good time. When I was arrested, I actually had possession of drugs, but on my plea agreement, my drug charge was replaced with a phone charge so that I would get a reduction in my sentence. How that happened is a miracle in itself, and I'll be talking about that in a future video, so stay tuned. Now, on page three of my plea agreement, are the specifics of my arrest. Reading from the paragraph at the top of the page, it states, on November 15, 2002, I had possession of 445.3 grams of a mixture and substance containing methamphetamine, of which 169.2 grams were pure methamphetamine, which I intended to sell. I had made this arrangement with unidentified person who was going to put me in touch with a buyer Now, I just want to mention before continuing on, I blurred out this guy's name because he was someone I sold drugs to. But later on, I had come to find out that he was working for the DEA. And the buyer that he introduced me to here was a DEA agent. And I was arrested on the spot. My plea agreement goes on to say, I took a firearm with me to the meeting to protect myself and the methamphetamine I was carrying. The firearm was a loaded Colt 380 caliber handgun. So there you have it. I am not making things up when I tell you in my videos that I lived the criminal life and I paid the price. In my future videos, I'm going to be talking more about what my life was like before accepting Jesus as my Lord and Savior in prison, what the federal prison system was like, how Jesus changed my life, and my current circumstances. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it. That would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you're new. Check out some of my past videos on my channel page and like me on Facebook as well. I share more content there. God bless.